Okay, y'all. So I'm getting ready to make myself a oat milk honey latte. So y'all know whenever I went to Cafe Lucia, I had got a honey bee latte and I really liked it. So I'm gonna see what this one tastes like. It calls for oat milk, 30, 34 cups of oat milk, one or two tablespoons of honey, a pinch of salt, and strongly brewed coffee. So I think I'm just gonna use the, uh, the Nespresso. I was gonna do it the whole thing, but. And then you just put it into a glass jar, you microwave it, you shake it up, and then you pour it. And it's supposed to get foamy. Let's do it. did without the honey I mean without the cinnamon on it this is giving fall time but tough uh, yeah you should try it I think I think this will be so good iced obviously I had it iced before but professionally anyways I'm finna set my child to school and now I'm finna work I'm gonna talk to y'all suckers later wish Kenzie good luck at tryouts today <laughs> Y'all won't see this in time. Good morning, friends. I'm about to make me another honey, honey oat milk latte. It is so good. I really want to try ice because that's how I normally get it. I never thought about a jar method to get froth, and I've been using my little frothing machine, which I need need to be using anyways. But did I tell y'all that I was thinking about getting rid of my Perville? <gasps> Do not judge me. I just want a regular drip. What's the name? I washed my hair last night because it was so oily and I just braided it and then unbraided it because I, I get my hair done in two days. So I'll probably end up just doing like a quick wash so I'll be able to like blow dry it. Do what we get right now? <laughs> I just threw a little headband on them. And I have on my American Eagle little outfit thing. Yeah, I have on pink underwear, I don't know why I did that. But yeah, it was freezing here yesterday and now today it's supposed to get up to 69, to 69 degrees. In the hat, I'm gonna make my coffee, and then later today, probably like around lunchtime, we'll probably go to Perimeter so I can take all of this stuff back to Zara. I could just ship it, but I want my money now, okay? Not when they get it. Ooh, I tried on the all white outfit, girl. Them pants, I'm getting on there today and ordering some more. Enough chatter, let's make our coffee. So I wanted to use my new cup. It's so cute. So I only use half of my mixture. So I'll drink this and then I'll use the rest of it. And I also have like a little bit of coffee left over. I am going to just go ahead and combine these two because I don't care if it looks pretty or not. I could put some of this foam on top of here though. And yeah, let's do that. All right, loves. I'll have a meeting. Started two minutes ago, so I'm gonna log into that and I'll see you live a little bit later when I take a break. Cheers, happy Wednesday! <laughs> all right, we're about to go get all this stuff to take back. You can come, Benny. Come on, there's so much house stuff I need to do, but I look like a freaking clown. Um, but I just don't want to do it. I don't. And I was like, maybe I should record a home vlog to go live today. But we'll see what it's giving when we get back, you know? <sighs> Anyways. So, yeah, last night I started trying on all this stuff. Like, I know I've been buying all of this stuff, but I haven't actually tried it on as, like, outfits. And, mm. <laughs> Some things did not come together, okay? So, these are the original ones that I purchased that are dirty, and I'm returning these. This is the second pair that I um, ordered. They actually turned out clean, but they're too small. 
So I tried them on whenever I was sitting down and didn't actually stand up, but y'all see how thick my sole is? Yeah, didn't work out. These are the ones I got in the mail yesterday, day before yesterday. I think they're so cute. And they actually fit me, but I don't really see myself wearing these like this. So it has like the little rhinestone things on there to make them glittery. These are really, 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 really cute, but no. Um, I also have some, oh, let me show y'all the dress that came with it. Y'all, it fits, it's so flattering on. It's so cute. It's definitely giving a vacay moment. And it's super long and it has a split in the back. It fits really good. I got it in a size small. So this is going to be like a dinner outfit. And then there is a free people off of Howell Mill. I don't know if we'll have time to go, but if we do, I wanted to take the bathing suits back in store. I also have this outfit that I was going to keep, especially the pants. But I don't know. I haven't really made up my mind on it. I kind of feel like I should just keep this until I make up my mind. All right, let's go. I forgot to show y'all these um, lipsticks that I got in the middle from Merit. I think. If I'm not mistaken, I'm supposed to share them on my Instagram, but I'm going to share them with y'all too. So they have like their um, signature lips, but these are the two latest colors that they came out with. Speaking of, I need to post these. Like, I'm going to post them on Friday. But this one is called Classic. That's the color for this one. And it's like a nude, neutral type color. It reminds me of the, what do you call it? Is it Charlotte Tilbury? Um, I don't remember what it is, but I'm excited about this color. And then this one, I think the color is Power. It's a red. Yes, the color is Power. Look at that. That's a pretty. So I'm gonna try both of these out. Oh, I'll show you all the stuff that I also got from Zara. So I bought hair to be able to do Kenzie and Addie's braids before spring break. I don't want to wait until it's time for us to go on vacation to do their hair because they like to swim. I have water babies, or water kids, and to me this is a waste of my time and effort is I just do their hair for them to go swimming and then it's all messed up by the time I come back. So. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Bing. Baby, she's looking out. She usually only goes to sleep if she's in the car. Just like an infant. And then I got some um, more glass jars. Like the ones that I have in my smaller coffee session. And I got some mini ones. These need to be washed. Yeah, I got the mini ones to go in my bigger coffee session. The black top. Some people were saying that these didn't work as good as the bigger ones, but well, well I did the labels. Also, that nice. noisy. Then we've got some things from Espresso and Zero. I'm gonna show you guys. So everything I got from Espresso, this is my first time actually going inside of the store as opposed to ordering online. But I was like, since we, oh, we went to Linux instead of going to Perimeter. Just so I would be able to go to free people and they have all the stores there. And then I knew I also needed to order pods. And I didn't want to, instead of, girl, we went to Linux. So I just got two Malazio decaffeinated. I had this one. I don't know if, it, I think it obviously it's online. It's called half caffeine, whatever. Um, I guess in my mind I was like, oh, it's only half caffeinated. I don't know, girl. And then I got two Altisio's scaling kit. I wonder how much this costs. I was on 10 dollars mm -hmm. per usual, your little sample bag. And from Zara, I got two of these um, just regular tank tops. I actually have two or three of these upstairs, but I got them in size medium, and this time I got them in size small. These are good to wear up under things or just play yourself with some jeans. And then I also got it in hot pink, but this is a medium. It's fine. They didn't have a size small. These are $10.90 each. 
And then I also purchased a pair of jeans that I thought would be really cute with like dad sandals and stuff. I also like that they came with this little belt around it. So they're kind of like high waisted. I picked up these for vacay. I feel like they'll be mood or vibe with my bathing suits. And then I also got this purse. They also have it in gold, but I thought it was really cute and it's super heavy too. And I think it's gonna be perfect for like a little springtime moment. A little white shirt, some denim, cute sandals. How do you open this? No, I didn't even bother to open it while I was there. Ooh, it's toxic. But yeah, it looks like it has a super fun ending. The last thing I got are these sandals. But these right here are just too cute. Like I'm in size six and a half. I really need seven, but for whatever reason, Zara goes from six and a half to seven and a half. I don't understand. Anyways, lads, I'm gonna go work and then we'll talk to you guys in a bit. I think I wanna make me another coffee. So when I went into the Nespresso store they gave, they were giving out like coffee based on the type of machine that you had. So that you could just like taste it. They were having a tasting in the store. And I had the, the LTCO decaffeinated version of it. I don't see how people just drink straight espresso. I said, um, do you have any creamer or sugar or anything like that? Sweetener? And she was like, yes, we have sugar. I said, I know this is weird, but I, I have to sweeten this espresso. And then I got to Zara after that and I started sweating. I'm like, how much caffeine is actually in the decaffeinated products? Oh my God. All right, that's good. <laughs> Slide. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Slide. Whee! All right, y'all, we just finished our walk. So y'all know I was telling y'all, did I tell y'all? Yeah, we made some shrimp tacos. It's kind of like, they kind of look like burrito tacos, but it's just shrimp and cheese on the inside. I said I wouldn't eat no more shrimp, I mean, no more cheese. Well, yesterday was my first time in like two weeks eating cheese. Then after yesterday, I was like, I'm not gonna eat anymore. It didn't really make my stomach hurt that bad. I just think I need to eat my lunch. Anyways, shrimp. We're about to make it. You know, you guys. This is what they look like. Ooh. And then my husband made homemade pico. We had to use the tomatoes that we had left. So good. And this is the best salsa. Look at this. I just made this. <laughs> Out of my own hands. Not out of my own hands, with my own hands today. Yeah. My baby soup came. Oops, smell good. What you got on? I don't know. Mm. It came, so I got the one piece version of it. When it got here, I got it in size medium. I was like, this is too long. It's not gonna fit. It fits. So I'm satisfied, child. Finally, I ordered three pairs of shades from there. I'll show you guys when it gets here. And then I ordered some stuff from Skims because Skims so politely sent me a 25% off coupon. And I'm so pissed at myself because I should have bought more of the um, pajamas that I really like from them. Because I normally get them from Nordstrom, which don't be on sale. And I could have got them from 25% off. And now that I've tried these on, I'm like, damn, I should got these in more colors. But I got the, I think these are called the loose pants or the loose boxers or something like that. I got these in a size extra small. I could use these in a size small just for like a looser fit. This back part, baby, is giving diaper. But it's so cute and I love the pink. And to go with it, I got the cropped pink shirt. This is the crop top that I got. I also could have got this in a size small, but I got it in an extra small. 
nerd to self but then i got the loose pants in gray so i got these they're super long but i got these in an extra small and i probably could use these in an extra extra small but i do love how these fit and then to go with that i got I think this is the same tank top of tank top that I have in black and no it's not. And cream. I don't know. But it's cute. I might wear it tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, the Alright y'all. Friend friends. Friend friends. <laughs> you so funny. I love you. You love your friends? Hmm. Yeah. You so funny. Friends, we about to go to Home Goods. I haven't been to Home Goods in forever, but I am gonna record a Home Goods shop with me, and then um, after that, I need to go to Target because Ben, you shaking the camera. Stop climbing up on my um, dresser, please. You're gonna break it. Don't do that. Um, we're gonna go to Target because they yesterday I got an email that said they had 20% off of swimsuits, and I need to go see what they have for my kid because I don't I, I don't know what bathing suits they have from last year, but I would imagine that they're grown. So. We're gonna go do that. And I just threw on the Hits t shirt and some green cargoes. Yeah, I see that. I'm about to put on my pandas. I got Bean together because she's gonna go with me. And I wore, um, or not wore, I put on the Dossier Aquatic Coconut, which is, ooh. Look. There she go. Let's head on this. Look. You think these will be cute? That's right. I don't know if you can, they're microwavable. No, I know, but they're just washers and melamizes. I can't really Okay, mommy will turn it up for you. But we can look at all. Oh, she's so cute. What? I never buy that. Perfect. I feel like these are kind of cute and different, you know? If we were trying to go for like coloring your house. I don't know what I would do with them, but they cute me. So y'all see even like this, if you were redoing a girl's bedroom, how this would be like kind of just modern looking and not so kitty-ish, but this, but this like makes it kitty-ish, you know what I'm saying? With the butterflies. I think that is so cute. I feel like these are so cute for the springtime. This one, these are really cute, but I don't know if it gives fall and these. I really like these. Um, um, a pillow. That one's navy and that one's black. I really like those. These right here are gorgeous. The things I could do with these, but I do not need them. Giving vintage. This is so pretty. I would probably change the hardware, but at the same time, I think it looks really good now. This price? Mm -mm. This is cute for a little girl's bedroom. This is so pretty. And I feel like online you would pay like a thousand dollars for this print. Isn't this four hundred dollars? This is really pretty. This is very like vintage inspired. Oh, I love that. And for the second item, we will get that. Okay, so we have go to the AC room. I'm gonna get the half sweet and let me show you what I got from um, Home Goods. 
I'm planning on doing a little bit of hosting this summer. And I thought these were so cute, even for the holidays. So I got this set for $10. Got the wooden ends to it. And then, uh, oh. Now this set that has like the marble at the bottom. Same, I got a set of three. I'm gonna put these up with all of my serving dishes. And then, I got a cute throw. This is so cute, is it not? For you, for, you, for your bedroom. You don't like it? I do, that's so cute. You didn't seem very enthused by it. Mommy, what is No, that? that's what it is. And I thought it would be cute legs with this. You like it? You'll see that? The way that the pink That matches my pillow. Yeah. And that one does too. Yeah. So I wanted, I want pink. You want pink? Yeah, so yeah. I just wanted to be very like, a lot of personality in her bedroom. I also got a few things here. Oh, these are just containers. By the end of my trip, I stopped showing y'all the stuff because I was over it. But I got these containers. Y'all know I got a set of two of these that were plastic for $10. The Figment Collection at Target. But these were $5.99 each. And they're glass. And it's the same little. Yes. Now I think I showed y'all the purple version of this in the store. But it's a cute little pink mug. So cute. It's an egg crate. And it's ceramic. I thought it was so cute. They have one that has like the yellow specks on it. This is just so aesthetic. And I'm gonna wash up and put my eggs in there. So all you have to do is just grab them now. I don't have to worry about taking the lid off. Because do eggs have to be covered? And then you know they have their spices and stuff. I just picked up some more hot handy spice. And I got this for Maddie's room. Again, character. This is not cute. So I don't know what it is, to be honest with y'all. But I'm gonna do a colorful stack of books, right? I couldn't find any there. But like coffee table light book, but colorful ones and stick this on top of it and probably put this on her nightstand. And then she has like the mushroom shape. I'm so excited to decorate her room. That's it. So like funny picture I can do like. Mm-hmm. Like, like have a video. But I got a regular donut, but I want this one. <laughs> getting here until tonight what am I gonna do with that my appointments at 9 a.m. I was like really that was I normally you don't let a player partner down but today getting real close anyways but I do have a meeting at 9 so I bought my earphones I plug into the computer so that I'll be able to type my calls without disturb a hub piece you know I thought I was going to leave early enough so I give me something to eat. Because y'all know y'all be sitting there for a long time. You be hungry. I will get over there six minutes early. Maybe I can stop and get me a biscuit. Some hashes. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to leave y'all on. I'm going to talk to y'all. I'll take y'all in a little bit. I'll show y'all what 
finished product look like. I went and blow dried my hair again this morning. I blow dried it last night and then again this morning because it was a little bit wavy. So, let's do a little transition. <laughs> it's cute. I love it. Anyhow, let me focus on this robe. Friends. I bought some shoes from Coach, some sandals, and they came. Huh? Ooh, what size did I get? It's a six and a half. Should've wrote myself a note. Thank you for shopping at Coach. I hope you enjoy your purchase. It was made with a quality intention to detail. Coach has been known for this since 1941. what they look like they're a pair of denim i know the orange dress i showed y'all from zara and that blue bag that's what i'm trying to wear this with and i pray to god it fits because i want to get a seven and sandals in here period yeah they're comfortable too well these real comfortable i mean i could use the seven but they was out of stock so this is what we get i like them they're cute I feel like the I feel like the denim will you know stretch out a little bit. Yeah, these are them. I like them. When we went to Linux the other day, I was like, we should go inside of Coach to see if they actually have my size in store, but I'm pretty sure they didn't. So yeah, this is cute. All right, y'all. I just made it home, and Shadi is ready to eat. So we about to eat. I had two cereal bars today. They need to post these results. I'm sick of it now. He to find out whether or not she made it. The cheer squat today. Oh, it's a Saturday. So I've been up since like a little bit before three o'clock in the morning. Uh, for whatever reason, I couldn't sleep. But the last couple of days, um, the last couple of days I had, or the last couple of, couple of nights before tonight, I have been doing the sleepy girl mocktail and I've been sleeping peacefully. So I guess it's safe to say that it actually works. And I didn't do it last night. So I literally just watched YouTube on Instagram, thinking, reflecting. I actually cried a little bit in the shower this morning because I feel like God sometimes be waking me up early in the morning like that on nights that I can't sleep. And I literally, literally wake up for hours in the middle of the night. It's like, he's telling me like, that's your time that you actually need to spend with me. And like there's a lot, there's been a lot on your mind. Here's an opportunity for you free of sound and distractions to kind of like think about it and process it. And so you, you're able to deal with it or come up with a game plan. It's also a time where I feel like I come up with like really good ideas for like content and stuff like that. Although I'm not really good at the execution part of it. Um, I don't know, that's me trying to find the silver lining in me being up so early. But the bad part is I'm a crash midday. Those tulips are very wild over there. I think I showed y'all in previous clips, if I actually include it. I have not edited this video, that's what I'm planning on doing this morning. But I've got some tulips that I found at Target. And let me just show y'all. These are the tulips. I kind of like them being spread out like that because they're like overflowing and spilling over. But a part of me is like, you probably should have trimmed them down just a little bit more so that they're not so wild. Does that mean that they need water? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, um, I don't know. I've been emotional for the last week and a half. Granted, I'm about to come on my cycle again next week. So I really do feel like, or this upcoming week, so I really feel like I'm like PMSing right now. What? Being woke up. Something stank. The other thing that I was just talking to God about and praying to him is just like, Lord, allow me to cleanse my soul and my spirit because I have just felt so off balance. Like I can't pinpoint what it is, but I was like, show me today, like today, show me what steps I need to take, what changes I need to make, what I need to do to make myself feel whole again and not just feel 
it's just something off about my spirit y'all and i don't know what it is but it's just causing me to have something at the pit of my stomach to where i'm just like i'm just i don't know so anyways i'm about to make myself some coffee we're gonna come up off of that um I'm about to use my new clip i'm really excited about this cup to make me happy <laughs> you do that's so good i want you to always know that Okay, hold on. My life like it's golden. My coffee's made. Let's give her a taste. It's good. I don't know, y'all. I feel like these little um half cap. These are cat. This is just half the caffeine. Girl, that is not decaf. That is not remotely the same as decaf. I am almost certain. The amount of. What am I missing? Somebody, please. <laughs> I need y'all to chime in right now because this is giving. This is very much giving caffeine. Because why does this say half? caffeine and this one says decaffeinated is there not a difference does decaffeinated mean it's half the amount of caffeine i don't know but i was just about to tell y'all that these pods got caffeine in them because why i be feeling so jittery after i drink this cup i am sick of it excuse me why don't you take your gown off anyway y'all i made my to-do list i am dedicating tomorrow fully to doing Mackenzie and Madison's braids. I don't want to say that too loud because then I'll be harassed. And if tomorrow come and my energy get to telling me it ain't happening, I don't want to be harassed about how I didn't do it. But that is my plan. I'm fully dedicating tomorrow to doing that. I thought I heard somebody come down the steps. Today I have to take Maddie to a party. I want to do Bean's laundry, edit my vlog, Kendra's laundry and sheets, Maddie's laundry and sheets, my laundry, which I've already started on. And I need to start packing for our trip because not only do I have to pack myself, I may have already told y'all this, I also have to pack all three of my kids to make sure that they're ready, have everything they need to go stay at their Gigi's house. And then when we come back, I will pack their things for us to be able to go to Florida. I get excited about vacation, but I don't enjoy the packing process, especially when I have to get my kids together. You know these men out here, all they gotta do is get they self together, okay? I could task my husband with packing for them, but he don't even know what size they wear, so he wouldn't be able to say it's something big, something don't. And my kids be looking crazy. Anyways, I'm about to go edit. So I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all, this little combination is just so cute. My little, what is this thing? A cloud? And this fits perfectly on top of it. Oh, it's just so cute. It's the little thing that make me happy. And she thinks she actually doing something. But I'm about to get ready to edit. So I just have my computer up here. And my hard drive that I use. And my mouse is over here charging. Finally found a charger for it. I just have this little black mouse off of Amazon child. What are you doing? I really want you to sit inside on the seat instead of on the edge of it. Because you topple over, baby. I really hope this editing process is very smooth. But the fact that I haven't looked at any of this, any of this footage since I actually vlogged for this week. It's a little bit stressful thinking about it. Anyways, I forgot to, I mean, we talked about my hair last night. I really like it, but she didn't really dip it that much just because she didn't want to like test the waters with this Amazon um, human hair. So I feel like it's a little bit stiff, but I could just let it naturally loosen up on its own or I was thinking about like re-dipping it. But I think I'm, a, I'm, I think I'm just gonna leave it alone. But whenever, whenever I was, um, like reading the reviews and stuff, I'm like, how do people, even when I see people with these braids, I'm like, how do they actually get tangled? Like, girl, when I woke up this morning, I was wearing my hand through, I was like, oh, okay, I see. But if it actually ends up getting tangled, I am going to get me some clippers or some scissors and literally just cut these one by one out of my head so that I can maintain the regular box braids because who ain't got no money to waste? This chick. Go. Oh, she got some coffee. I 
I said W12. The package in the mail. I don't know what this is. So I was like, why not open it with my friends? I'm still editing. I don't have so many distractions today. It's not even funny. Out of two hours of footage, I still have an hour and basically an hour more to go. So I don't know. I'm gonna be here until the top of St. Madison Road the birthday party show. What is this? Oh, it's my Fenty product. So Kyra, I was watching her vlog and um she let us know that the Fenty friends and family seller something like that is going on. And I wanted this Fenty perfume um body what is it called? Body oil cream? Whip oil body cream. Cause y'all know I love the butter drop. So when she originally showed this, or when it originally came out, the last time the friends and family's sale was going on, it was not part of the sale. And Kyra said it was part of the sale. This time I said, oh, that's to part. Because I'm not paying full price for this. <laughs> I think this stuff is 80 some dollars. I got it for 30% off. You can get 25% off now, but I've never smelled it before, so I am blindly purchasing this. <laughs> it's not for me. It's it's too perfumey. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, uh, let me just rub some on my. It's a nice cream. I don't know. This this is no. This would irritate me. Oh. Mm, hold on. Okay, so it's definitely not an all body type of thing for me because I would not, I could not stand smelling this all day. It's kind of like Sole de Janeiro, whatever. I can't wear that. I end up having to give my big one to one of them kids, I think it was Maddie, because it was just too much. This is, this is very strong to me. I mean, I don't know if it layers well, maybe. I'm pretty sure you get compliments on this, but. It's not worth the price to me in terms of like, I mean, it's hydrating, but what's their retirement policy? <laughs> this is one I could have I, I could have did without it, but the packaging is nice. I don't think I had this on here right. Yeah, the packaging is very nice, but I just don't think. Y'all yeah, notice how I be feeling when I first get something. I'm like, mm, it ain't grow on me, but I don't. Mm. The influence. The influence. Let me finish editing. Friend, friends. Just dropped Maddie off at her friend's birthday party. I actually thought I was going to have to go with her. But her friend's mom was like, no, I got to cover. And her husband was there as well. So I, I purchased a Stanley cup for Maddie um, for to go in her Easter basket. And I need to pick it up. I ordered it the other day. Today's my last day to pick it up. So, you know, Gita, I do not understand the hype. Oh. Oop. Wow. I do not understand the hype of Stanley Cups. I don't. But she was like, my friends have a lemon Stanley Cup. I, my, my response be like, I don't give a what your little friend got. But I was like, let me. Girl, don't hit me. I don't even have time to blow on my. The line at Chick-fil-A. Oh, my God. No, ma'am. Am I gonna stay? If am I gonna waste my time sitting in this line? Oh, uh, so I have to go to Dick's Sporting Goods to pick that up. It's right across the street. Should I do that and then go to the mall? Maybe I should do that. So yeah, I need to be back by two, three, four. I need to be back by four o'clock. So like three thirty. I'm not gonna be that parent. So I need to go to Dick's and then I need to go to the mall to return this stuff to. Excuse me, H and M, and then go to Sephora because I want to get a dewy tinted moisturizer right now I have the makeup forever matte I don't know if they I don't even know if it comes in that and I don't even know what color I have maybe it's on the app but either way those are the errands that I'm about to run right now but I haven't eaten all day I feel very jittery because I just had that coffee I know I was telling y'all in the last vlog that that coffee is giving very much caffeinated 
So, I feel like I'm on crack. Not that I know what that feels like, but my vision is that it's not great. So, we're in Chick-fil-A's line. It's moving fairly steady. Do I have any points available? Y'all even see my braids or all, am I just giving head? That doesn't sound right. Am I just giving forehead? Girl, let me put some right here. I really need to redump these. These are so freaking stiff. I can't. Um, Chick-fil-A. Why is that line moving faster? Jonathan. His name is Jonathan. What are we doing? What are we doing? Back how it used to be whenever I was coming up. These kids will never have the luxury of what fast food actually used to taste like. I never thought in a million years I would ever say it. Back in the day, McDonald's was it. I remember the All-American Meals. Oh my God. Not that I ever got one, but it was like a privilege when your mama said you could get McDonald's. And then to, to actually be afforded the opportunity to get a ha like a Happy Meal. Because when we went, we was ordering off the dollar menu. I don't know about y'all, but my mama, them, in fact, did not have any McDonald's money. Y'all need to come on. I don't have time for this shite. Luke just, he running right through them. He running right through these orders. Jonathan, on the other hand, he just, he put his hands on his hips. He, look, he just, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to let you have three Chick-fil-A sauces. Max, I can do us too. Hello. Hello there. My name is Sean. Can I get an egg? I was wrong. Um, can I get a five-piece kids meal? Yes, ma'am. Um, with sweet tea to drink and Polynesian sauce. And can I do the fries well done, please? Yes, ma'am. Anything else for you today? No, that's all. And can I get an egg for your order? Janae. Janae. Alrighty, it's going. Oh. It's six thirty-five today. Six thirty-five. Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not, but there you go. Do you remember when the I don't I don't know how, how old you are, but it used to be like four dollars. It did. It it's gonna be six thirty five today. It used to be five. Well, five, ten too. I'm I'm saying like whenever when I was younger. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't eat kids' meals here. I eat kids' meals at McDonald's when I was a little kid. Oh yeah, that is true. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, because that's all my parents could afford. And then uh, <laughs> and then my, my my grandmother took us to Wendy's most of the time. Yeah. Those junior bacon burgers. Yeah, uh, that were a dollar. Exactly. They yeah. were. Now I got pay, I've got my father in a hospital hospital multiple times and now I'm gonna skyrocketing prices. So. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> yeah, you, you too, thank you. He's so sweet. But that must suck up one hundred percent. Wiped his nose, touched my cart, and then handed it bike, baby. <laughs> This pandemic taught some folks absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Why is my... But he's so sweet. Lord Jesus, I just want to say a quick prayer. I ask that you heal his father right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, pray. Amen. I hate to hear people going through a hard time, but that seems to be the norm nowadays. I don't know if y'all heard him, but he said his father was in the hospital. But amen to that. I, I don't know how old that young man was. He was given high school or college graduate you know no one looks their age anymore so um yeah i didn't i didn't know what old he was but apparently he remembers when junior bacon cheeseburgers at wendy's was affordable now girl if it's affordable it's fake this that's the motto six dollars i was in high school i used to leave during lunch i used to sneak and leave during lunch and go get me a chicken nugget meal uh, a kids meal the six count kids meal was three dollars and fifteen cents three dollars fifteen cent with tax with an ice cream cone with an ice cream on the side instead of the toy with a sweet tea and back in the day they used to cook their food until it was god dang done now i gotta ask for well done for your fries to actually be cooked to perfection turn the grease up or let them hoes cook for an additional 30 seconds. That's all I'm asking. I didn't put any hand sanitizer on. Are you coming where I am? No. Like, hold on now. His name is Sean, not Jonathan. That was close. Not really. Yeah, I'm gonna quit right walking through these cars. Like, math is not math. Like, this makes absolutely zero sense. 
I'm sick of y'all just running out in front of my car and then I would be in trouble if I hit you. This hair. Janae. This hair is so damn stiff. It's annoying. I'm trying not to talk to myself. Like, oh, now I got a meal wrong. She got to bring it back. Thank you. No problem. You too. I really want to go to sleep. Let me show y'all what a well done fry looks like. Sometimes they be trying to play me and be funny and give me burnt fries like today. These looks crispy as heck. But I like my fries to be golden, not white. The only bad thing about requesting well done, sometimes they play in your face and don't put salt on there. I said well done. I didn't say hold the salt. All right, so I secured the goods. It's really cute. It's darker than what I thought, but she got the 30 ounce one. I know, H&M should be 1,000% ashamed of themselves for how filthy this floor is. Anyways, what do we think about this skirt? Is it giving church vibes? Ignore the socks. And I wouldn't wear this top with it necessarily. I have these pants to try on with that. But I kind of really like this shirt. This is a size 4. I feel like it might be a little bit too tight. I'm going to lose some weight, so it's okay. I think... $37.99? I don't know. We'll keep it on the back burner. So I got this as an entire outfit, which I think is really cute. These are size two, but I really need them in a size four because the pants pockets are pulling. So these are some linen shorts. This is a size four. Also have it in a size two, but the white is kind of like secret, but I don't know how I feel about this part. Okay, so here is the last thing. I have these shorts on in a size extra small. The top is also extra small, but I think this looks really cute. It's kind of giving off pajamas. I don't really care, but I think this is so cute. This is really cute. I don't know if y'all can hear me because the wind is blowing. But baby, it is far too many kids in this doggone mall for my taste. Catch me during the week or early in the morning. I did buy some of the stuff that I showed y'all while I was at H&M. And then I went and got a new Tessa moisturizer from Sephora. And they were so busy. Not with kids, but adults. Why are you so close? Oh my God. Oh my gosh, it's so much pollen out here. But yeah, it's just way too busy in there. You can tell that people just drop their kids off. It's 2024. Who is still dropping their kids off at this mall and trusting that it's not filled with baby my forehead is like a landing strip Woo. all right let me show you what i got from Sephora real quick you already seen what i got excuse me getting the two-piece set the pants and then the t-shirt the denim skirt oh i was like no thank you it is hot. It's windy outside, but in your car with the sun beaming. So I got this one. <clears throat> we got our air conditioner deodorized, and it still stank. I don't understand. So, anyways, it is this particular one. And y'all know how y'all was telling me I needed to go for more cool tones. So I avoided the warm tone and got the. I think it's a neutral. It's number thirteen. I think it is medium deep neutral so I tested it out on my hand the shade of makeup forever on my hand and then tested it against these because I feel like my makeup forever matches it can stand to be like a hint lighter but I'm not mad at it so I'm gonna take that one and this one with me on vacation I don't really be wearing makeup like that because when the Sun get a hold to the melanin that's all you need really when you go on vacation all right I'm gonna go get Maddie and then I'm gonna go by Caruccio's. Two things. People with dirty feet should not be allowed to try on shoes. And if you must try on shoes, find a stocking or try it on with your sock. Because ain't no reason why the sole of them doggone shoes should be dirty off of somebody's feet. Number two, I am convinced that DSW, this location in particular, don't sell anything trendy. 
it's just it's just so out of touch with reality this location i don't know how all of them are Remember, did I tell y'all I ordered some shades for free people? I feel like I did. Anyways, they're here. Let's try them on. Or try them out. Let's see what they look like. Girl, I know they didn't take for stuff like this. All of this in the shades. At the bottom. Oh, you want some more rice? Mm -hmm. These are the Cruise Aviators. I really like the color of these. Yeah. Oh, these are nice. More glasses. More glasses. This is not what I ordered. Like this color is all the way off. That is so annoying. These are the Ventura Oversized Aviator Green. It's supposed to be a dark green. This is giving very much lime green. I don't need a lime green pair of glasses. I feel like the color gives cheap. You like them? Ouch. I like the shape of them, but I don't need lime green glasses. Or do I? Let me go check this out. This ain't the color I wanted. It was supposed to be a dark green because it was supposed to go with bathing suit with dark green in it. I love the shape and fit of these, but this ain't the right color. And these are affordable, $25, $30. And this one's like heavier than these are. And then this set is the Georgiana Aviator Gold. Mommy, I want my wife. Okay, baby. I'm gonna get you some more. You still got rice on your plate though. These were $25. I these look like some I already have. I really wish I wouldn't have got gold because I feel like this gold is given cheap. No. These are really cute. I don't necessarily have any that are this big. And I have the what's the name across it, but I got these for the gold. What could I do it without? Y'all see what I'm saying? It just doesn't look like, it looks like spray paint gold. Is it supposed to be giving vintage? I don't know. Happy with these. Not happy with these two. I was so excited to get home and see these shades, girl. Yeah, I don't really need these. No. No. Do I need these? Okay. Don't do that. <laughs> I just called and they're gonna expedite the right color. So this is actually the color matcha. It's cute, but that's not the vibe. I ordered cannabis, thought green. It should be on their way shortly. And I'm gonna return these because it's giving cheap. The color is just throwing me off. It's like, it's giving DIY. And I don't like that. These suckles too. I gotta go upstairs and figure out what I'm gonna even wear this with because it's giving bright, but I just really like this shape and I just think it's different, you know? Do y'all like these? No, they're not your vibes. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It'll be for everyone. March Madness, sorry for the noise in the background. Um, I'm drinking an aviation in case anyone cares. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Good day. I'm my drink now for girls, 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 girls. I've been looking for this bag. Okay. So, I've already showed y'all the jewelry that I got them from Julia Marie. Name necklaces for them. Ooh. Girl, I thought somebody's at the door. Oh. Um, yeah, it's their name necklaces from Mackenzie and Maddie. Bean didn't get one. Because she wouldn't do nothing with try to pull it off. This is called an aviation. It's made with gin, if you don't like gin. Um, I showed y'all Maddie's. I looked in her phone. Let me know. Do y'all check out these phones? I do. 
um, is this the 30 ounce? Yeah, I checked her phone and I seen where she was sending a message to one of her friends about one that's like this color, the lavender color. So, I don't know. Um, I'm just going to present works. Okay, I'm gonna present her with this one. And if she doesn't like it, then I will take her to exchange it. When she went to the birthday party today, in her goodie bag, she had a Stanley um, straw stopper. So girl, she's anticipating this. Not necessarily for Easter, but just in general. For Mackenzie, I just got her a hot pink simple modern one. I got her this color. She's not, I don't, I mean, I think she likes the color pink, but I just tried to keep it in the family because theme. I got her this one from Home Goods. It was $12.99. $23.99, $35. It's the, I don't think the Stanleys are that bad of a price because I feel like cups are expensive anyways for these types of cups, but Simple Modern is always going to be affordable. This to go in the bottom of their Easter baskets. I'm going to go and find the Easter baskets that I gave them last year and just reuse those because quite honestly, I just don't understand why I would actually go and purchase more baskets these for the candy. I got each of them a little squishmallow thing. So I got three of these. They're their favorite candy. So the nerds for Maddie. These for Kenzie and Dean. Well, I wouldn't say it's their favorite candy. I just know that that's what they are. Just little things I got to fill up with the Easter eggs. I got a ton of these. I was thinking about doing it the Friday before, but I think I'm just going to let um, my mother-in-law do it with them, her and her husband. These cute little crunch sticks to go in there. Oh my gosh. Why did I buy this? Oh, I bought these for myself now. <laughs> I'm, about to, I'm about to open these up. But to fill up the Easter eggs, I also got this candy. Oh my gosh, I love this. Just the Reese's Easter eggs. I didn't want to get like some candy. We're also gonna print, not print out, get some cash out of the ATM to give them some stuff. So I think this is enough stuff. I really don't like putting a whole bunch of candy in there with them, but that's all I got. Um, now I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, I, I, could get, I could get them a gift card, a Roblox gift card to go in there too. What is the purpose of Easter baskets? Look, they're little bunnies. Oh, it's so cute with a bunny, 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 bunny. Hi, Kia. Mm -hmm. I'm that mom. I'm not satisfied. I don't know if it's because whenever I was shopping that day, I had so much in my cart that it looked like I had a lot of stuff in there for, I don't know, once I put, let me just, let me just put a basket together and see what it looks like. I feel like Maddie is going to be so grateful anyways because she had a Stanley, convenient one Stanley. She's going to be happy about the jewelry because she's very much like a jewelry girl. I'm going to go convince my husband that we need to do a house project. <laughs> I'm about to see if this foundation works. Oh, I re, um, I dipped my hair again and then put some mousse on it. <clears throat> we in no, in no. This is the most I use because this is the most I had on hand. I have no idea. brow pencil I use soft charcoal don't know if that's the right color but that's what I've been using I just want to see if this foundation works really quick so I know whether or not to take her back I also think I'm gonna try these braids on my kids here I know how to braid it I know how to feed in sure let's make magic happen it says shake well before using all right I'm not priming my face or anything oh Use my brush. This is a Morph M6. Don't know what is this. Oh my gosh, y'all. All of my. All of my. This brush gonna hurt. All of my um, beauty blenders are dirty. Know what the true test is? 
Taking a picture of yourself, please hold. Girl, I forgot I had the camera on. A little bit of chapstick on. Get things going. Take these out. I don't want to. I see it, right? <laughs> This is not my color. We're laughing because I was talking to the camera and the camera wasn't on. Yo, I look like a ghost. But I will say, I like the way it makes my face feel. It's like super hydrating. But do y'all see this? Granted, don't look from this side because this is my birth mark. Look from this side. <gasps> no. So I need to go a shade darker. It, this is 13. Mmm. I like it though. I do. It's just like a cold. Mommy, why is it in the I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna take this makeup up and then start my skin. Well, I need to get in the shower. Where's my makeup? Get that shower. I tell you. Hey, friends. It's Sunday. I just finished braiding Maddie's hair. I literally have copper tone on my hand. Like my hand aches ache so bad. But I wanted to go ahead and finish up these Easter baskets real quick so that they're ready. I think I'm gonna give it to my kids on Friday um, instead of Sunday because we will be headed to our destination. So I showed y'all everything yesterday. I think I probably ended the day yesterday with this. But I literally started, I didn't even have coffee today. Um, I literally started her here probably like around 11 it is almost seven o'clock now i just put finished putting the mousse and stuff on there it basically looks like mine it's just a different type of hair that i use the human hair that i have in my hair is the same hair that i use in her so yeah we just going real quickly throw this together child and it was so nice today from what i could tell and i feel some type of way that i did not get to enjoy the weather i'm also using the name tags that I created yesterday, Maddie added two stickers to hers. Mackenzie has no clue where hers is, so obviously hers would be the one without one. But I give my kids an Easter basket every single year. I don't care how old they get. It is something that I always enjoyed as a child. And I don't remember how old we were when we stopped getting Easter baskets, but I think I'll continue to do it until I leave this earth. Because, I don't know, stuff like this just brings me joy to do stuff like this for my kids. So we'll do Kenzie's basket first. Y'all don't necessarily need to see me. So, I don't know, we have her little pink. What's the name that we'll sit down in here? That's cute. I'll show y'all what all of them look like whenever I get done. So, BRB. So this is what their baskets look like. Simple, but cute. They got their candy, they got their jewelry, they got their cups. I think it's cute. Girls. <laughs> Girls, and guys, if there's any guys who watch my videos, I'm about to go downstairs and make some spaghetti today. It's Sunday, and I'm just going to close out this vlog. I caught myself recording two different vlogs, a weekly vlog, and then a spend the weekend with me vlog, but I, I don't know, because I had like a little vulnerable moment in the vlog, which at this point y'all can probably bet that I removed a portion of that. Um, Cause I was like, who? You think I'm gonna share my deepest feelings with the internet? I was just playing with my friends on the internet. So um, yeah. So I don't know. I might end up combining the two, but the vlog is obviously going up super late. We're gonna process it, but I feel somewhat better. Um, I'm about to come on my cycle, which I already told y'all, and she's getting the best of me. Okay, but uh, anyways, if this ends up being Two separate vlogs, I will see y'all on Wednesday. If not, I will see y'all, fingers crossed, on Sunday. We're gonna get our lives together, but I hope y'all have a blessed and productive week. Thank y'all so much for continuing to support me, and um, have a good evening. Whatever day it is that you're watching this, peace.